Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can tell from my voice as well as how I look right now, I am definitely not feeling my best. I tested positive for COVID yesterday, so today is the second day in the recovery. And yeah, I don't feel <laughs> too good. Um, I began experiencing like symptoms Sunday night where I was aching so much and couldn't really sleep. I had very bad coughing fits and I suspected that it was COVID, but then when I tested on Sunday, it was actually negative. I only tested positive on Monday. Um, and yeah, obviously not the best situation to be in. And if you guys can tell from my really big pimple here as well, I have my period right now. <laughs> so I have very bad cramps and um, yeah, it's just... It's just horrible, guys. <laughs> I think I probably contracted it over the long weekend. Um, I did go out a lot and it was my sister's sort of like bachelorette party. So we did go out to, you know, mingle and have drinks and stuff like that. And that is probably where I got the COVID from. Um, obviously, you know, it's not an ideal situation, but I am a little bit glad that at least I got it now and not like, a few weeks after during my sister's wedding i think that would just be disastrous um and right now i'm sort of isolating away from the rest of my family just to be safe and to make sure that i minimize the risk of passing this infection to them so yeah but to be honest today i am feeling much worse <laughs> than yesterday Yesterday was the first day that I was positive, but I was still able to work um, as usual, go about my daily routine. But this morning, I just felt so, so bad. I had to cancel like all of my meetings just because I couldn't really pay attention. Like my headache was really bad. I had coughing fits, you know, uncontrollable coughing fits for like at least a minute long. And yeah, it was just really, really bad. My throat is kind of like burning at the moment as well, so yeah. I know everyone experiences COVID a bit differently, but now that I'm actually experiencing it, I have to say that I'm very lucky that I'm double vaxxed because if I'm not, I don't know how much worse the symptoms might be. Um, and even right now, like, <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> I'm not feeling great, guys. <laughs> so, just by filming the intro, this is the amount of tissue <laughs> that I used for that, like, one minute of filming. And I feel so bad because I'm going to be using so much tissue um, throughout my recovery period. I also carry this water bottle wherever I go because I don't know when my next coughing fit will be. <sighs> So I just had the worst coughing fit. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm like literally crying <laughs> because I coughed for around like five minutes straight and my throat is just killing me. So I think I'm just gonna go and sleep now. Um, hopefully next morning I'll feel better, but yeah, I'm trying to smile <laughs> and stay positive during this period. Um, yeah, but COVID is not fun, guys not fun. <laughs> So I'm having my lunch now. I'm eating pork porridge from this place called Spring Leaf Taiwan Porridge and my dad actually brought this all the way here. He left it at the door because <laughs> he was scared to come in but yeah super grateful for this. It tastes really yummy. Um, thank god I haven't lost my sense of taste yet but I'm just expecting the worst. So along with the porridge, my dad also brought along some COVID ammunition for me. So I have like the ART test kits. Um, this is the Los Angeles, which I've been eating as well. He just bought extra. It's really good, um, sort of like soothes my throat whenever I'm having a crazy coughing fit. This cough syrup um, is really good as well. He brought another one, but I don't think I'll be able to finish the one that's um, currently open anyway. This one is the one that caught my attention because I've never used an anti-inflammatory throat spray before. I think this will be interesting. Maybe I should try it now. <laughs> 
So in order to use this medicine, I have to spray directly onto the affected area for relief or painful conditions of the mouth or throat. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. They have a nozzle <laughs> as well. Okay, so throat definitely feels a little bit better. It's kind of like a very airy, misty sensation, cooling sensation right now. I just didn't expect it to have like a mint flavor as well and that's why I was so shocked, but interesting. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. So it's day four of me being COVID positive. Right now I'm feeling much better. Definitely not as lethargic and I don't have any more body aches as I did um, in the first few days. But last night was hell for me. Um, I woke up every two to three hours needing to cough uncontrollably again. And it's quite funny now because I know when it's coming up, my throat gets really itchy. I feel like a sort of tingle of itch <laughs> in my throat and then I have to brace myself for the impact. But I think overall, I'm kind of more used to it now and I just can't wait for this to be over. Yesterday I had a shock as well. I think I lost my sense of taste for a little while because I tried the cough syrup but then I couldn't taste anything and usually you know the cough syrup has a very strong and distinctive taste so I was kind of scared a little bit but then afterwards I had an apple crumble and I could taste it so maybe like my senses only come to life when I eat desserts or something. But all jokes aside, I'm feeling a little bit better. Hopefully I will be negative in the next day or two. So it's the next day and I tested negative. Yay! So that means I can go out and I'm finally done with my COVID journey. Woohoo! Hey guys, so it's been three to four weeks since I got COVID and I'm feeling much better now. Occasionally, I still do get coughs though and I don't think it's gonna go away anytime soon. Overall, my COVID experience I think was pretty bad. I had bad coughs and I wouldn't wish this upon anyone else. So please stay safe and everyone take care. I'm also sorry that I have been sort of MIA from my channel for the last few weeks because work has been pretty hectic and I was also out traveling but I really do hope to produce more content for you guys moving forward. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!